happy Friday, everybody. Last day of the week. Wrapping up week two of Flavor of the Week. I hope you, everybody's been enjoying it so far. You know, last week, I think people started getting tired of lemons at the end. Let's see if they're getting tired of their cherries. Well, I guess we'll find out. Today's flavor is Red Cherry from Mullenberry. Flavor's been around roughly about five years. Not been extremely popular. Mullenberry flavors are kind of newer to the U.S. I mean, it just... They weren't very popular until about two years ago, a year and a half ago. Uh, Mullenberry started pushing them. They made them easier to get in the U.S. They partnered up with, uh, let's see, River Supply has them. Uh, Bull City Flavors has them. I think DIY Vapor Supply, they've been carrying them for a while. Uh, a lot of other places you can get them uh, up in Canada. I think you can get them at, uh, was it, DIY out of British Columbia. Uh, good flavor. Uh, you can run a little high. It has some has some give to it before it'll start getting medicinal on you. It is strong right off the scent. You can definitely smell that artificial candy cherry note. Uh, let's go check out ELR and see what they got to say. What everyone else has said what everyone's done with it. Let's go. There we go, gang. Oh, let me pull it all the way up. There we go. Red cherry from Mullenberry. Average mixing percentage is three. Single flavor is four. Most commonly used with because oh well, here we will look at session drummer has some notes and anytime I see session drummer's notes in something I'm going to give them a look. He rates it four out of five stars. Originally mixed at six percent in a single flavor test. Uh, cherries plain scare me as a had either way too strong or way too medicinal for his taste. Always been reluctant with them, which I can, can't believe him there. I've never used this. He researched it quite a bit and sold a, a 6% testing weight. At 6%, it's actually a very good cherry, medium sweetness, red cherry with just enough sweet and tart to convince you it's a cherry. Now, I did get some off notes on the finish. This percentage after two weeks. But after two weeks, he got the off notes. So he's retested it lower. You can see it pairing well with anywhere cherries. Let's see, in his retest, he did it 3%. This was February 2nd of last year. Doesn't do many retests, but here he did, and he liked it at 3. All offending off notes are gone. Uh, let's see, sits in the middle of the cherry darkness scale. Not too bright, not too dark. Uh, let's see, impart a nice red cherry, even cut in half. This one, perfect amount of sweetness. So you can go ahead, you can finish reading that. He, uh, did pair it with uh, Rainbow Candy. He gives Alfred credit. Alfred putting some credit there. Pair it with Anywhere Cherries. Make a nice one-two punch. Which I can see that going like 3% on the Red Cherry. One and a half maybe. One to one and a half on the Anywhere. Let's see. One, uh, IBC. Your EBC 88. Excuse me. Uh, mix it 4%. It tells you what kind of coil, no cough syrup taste, sweet cherry after a week, candy cherry, off the knuckles, yeah, cherry hard candy. Yeah, if, I mean, you can definitely use this in a card in a hard candy. Let's see what else is being said. Okay, commonly used with sweetener, uh, innerware cherries, forest fruits, fizzy sherbet. Black cherry jelly bean, which I really I'm gonna actually mess with this one today on that one. See what I can do with that. Uh some cooling, FA pear, lemon sicily, wild cherry with stevia, which I do not have lemon lime from Capella. Uh not a lot of public mixes, 55. Uh and no real high rated recipes. Let's see cheeky cherry from Dark Lord. His first high rate recipe, he used cinnamon red hots with it and wild cherry from Real Flavors. And that one definitely is a steeper with that VG in there. Uh, where did I just see? Oh, bump down. Cheeky Cherry Limeade. This is MB. Did this one on? I can't remember when she did this one. It was 2019, January 2019. Uh, jelly candy at, two, at one and a half, lemon lime soda, lime tahiti. Use a red cherry two and a half, tart cherry from Capella. So a nice combination there. 
Uh, chocolate covered cherries, another highly rated one. Uh, let's see, Double Dutch Twister from F from Flavor West. I'm not familiar with that one. Some odd, some different flavors on here. Cherry Pie 101. Use the Mulberry at three. Let's see, that's right where it sits. I think is a good spot for it. Uh, let's see, Michelle Hughes used it in Tears of Crimson's Cherry Sherbet. Thanks to Addie Tooney for your cherry idea. If you like an icy cherry and you want to add some coolant, she used it. If she used anywhere at 1.5, you use this one at 2. Then some sweetener, some vanilla ice cream from FA and Swirl. So you've got three and a half on the cherry notes and four on basically the ice cream notes. It makes a sherbet feel out of it. An American sherbet. Let's get that straight. Pippa used it here in with chocolate, all mulberry mix, bounty, cookie bite, epic vanilla, glamour chocolate, the red cherry at three, and sweetener blend. Made like a cherry chocolate, like a black forest type of almost, almost looks like a chocolate bar type of thing. Uh let's see. Delicious cherry ripe recipe. It should be a little coconut in there. I mean, she didn't use coconut, but I think, the, oh, the cookie bite. The bounty, that's right, the bounty has the coconut. What am I saying? The I mean, bounty has coconut in it. And I'm jumping around here. I apologize. I mean, you can always go back and check that out. Let's see. What else we can find on this one? Here, I used it in a, basically a cherry with cannoli. I used a panna cotta. This one, this took a long time to steep this one. You know, even after five days, the cherry wasn't there. I mean, I used it at 1.5. You could definitely bump that cherry up, but I really wanted that cannoli notes with the cream cheese icing and the panna cotta with the egg roll for the shell. Panna cotta probably could have lowered. Um, let's see, Vaping Lizard used it in a rum and coke. Use fizzy cola from Mullenberry with the red cherry, uh, Jamaican rum, shisha vanilla, and soda base. Not bad looking. Wish I had that soda base from Real Flavor. I don't know why it's not coming up. Might have it listed a different way. See Rin's sweet cookie. Yes, sir, I used it again. This one, one of freshest shows. I used it at 1.5. This mix turned out really tasty. I used to toasted coconut cheesecake. I could have brought up that red cherry here. I said cherries I've always been nervous about. Well, I think I may go ahead and revisit this one. Yeah, let's see. I got a couple of notes. On that one. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Pippa used it a few more times. Here's Sam. Dripping cherries. I am Sam. F.A. Apricot used in wear cherries at one and a half. Apricot to one, Moscato, they made like a beverage here at one, white peach, pear, the red cherry, sour lemon, and uh, sweetener. Which flavor do I have? I thought I had the Moscato. Maybe I don't have the Moscato from Flavor. Apparently I don't. Okay. Let's see, you can use it like with the wine type of stuff. Here's gummy worms. This is from Mullenberry's house mixing. Uh, green apple, green lime, jelly candy, original lemonade, the red cherry one and a half, and some sweetener. There's a picture with same with the jelly candy. Almost positive I do not have their jelly candy. Nope, I don't. It's a newer flavor. So basically, you can see what <clears throat> what people have done with it. Here's a cherry bakewell chrono. I think we've already talked about this one, didn't we? With the VSO, yep. And use it at three with some vanilla ice cream, some pie crust. Which I'm not quite sure what a Bakewell is. I've never had one. So in the comments, if someone wants to school me on what a Bakewell is, well, uh, I'm more than happy to know. Let's see, Sam used a couple more times. Here's one, Cherry Up. Uh, let's see, he used it at 3 there with the Inware at 1.5. Uh, sour Lemon. The Moscato again, the Lemon Lime Soda. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. All right, so that's what we got to wrap up week two of flavor today. Mullenberry, red cherry, 
believe you can get this whenever at Bull City. If not, I'm sure you can find it around. I received mine as courtesy of Mullenberry Flavors. So thank you, Marcelina, for that. All right, everybody. That's going to wrap up the second week. We're done. Enjoy your weekend. See you tomorrow for Mixing After Dark. Be safe. Wash your hands. My wife always hates this. I take so long. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. We'll see you tomorrow night. Or we'll see you next week. Or we'll see you whenever. Bye, everybody.